get ready. It's time to have some fun, Pittsburgh, with Heather Abraham and David Highfield. From KDKA TV Studios in downtown Pittsburgh, it's Pittsburgh Today Live. We, it's you're a, having a difficult time getting in it's there. It's impossible to move this stool any closer to the table. And you would like to be a little closer. I do. I feel like it's too far away. I understand. Yeah. Anyhow, I'll get over it. <laughs> Happy Friday on that note. Happy Friday, everybody. <laughs> we made it. I'm very excited because we're taking a little weekend trip oh, with the going? family. I'll be off on Monday and Tuesday next week. Uh, we're, we're checking out Great Wolf Lodge. We've never been there before. Oh, yeah, that's right. And uh, I've heard that it's a lot of fun for young kids, so I'm excited to take the kiddos. You'll have to report back to us. Not excited to be in a swimsuit, but excited to take the kids oh, to an indoor water park. <laughs> no, <laughs> the damage is done. The damage is already done. Well, because it's Friday, we are going to do our Friday free for all like we do every week. And we had a lot of questions about food this yes. time around. Shockingly, yes, food came up when talking about Pittsburgh Today Live. But Nancy, in fact, she wrote she loved Rick's recipe yesterday. He was for the, the payday kitchen. for the payday. Yeah. Uh, homemade was, payday bar. Was, yeah, homemade payday bar. Yeah. And, and so anyway, Nancy's wondering, could there be a regular staff cooking segment? where we have people from KDKA in the kitchen cooking up something. Well, here's the thing. Rick knows what he's doing. The rest of us maybe don't. <laughs> maybe don't. It could be a disaster. So, Nancy, I think it's a great idea, and maybe a disaster would be entertaining. I don't know. You know what Lisa Washington told me once because I said we were to have her on the She's kitchen? She's told me this, too. It's yes. the best quote ever. <laughs> right. She said, yes, I'll show you how to dial for takeout. No, what did she say? She said, the only thing I make is reservations. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's, that's what she yeah. said. Yeah, dial. I mean, look at me. I'm, like, living in the 70s. Di no one dials anymore. No. <laughs> Uh, Bonnie asks, how do you relax on your day off? PTL is the best AM show ever. Well, thank you very much, Bonnie. Thank you, Bonnie. What do you do? It, my relaxation is gone. I don't ha I don't get it anymore. <laughs> you know, we, we like going out. Like, we like to, to go out to dinner somewhere. Or maybe see, we're going to see a show tonight at CMU. Oh, what yeah, kind of show about, are you going to see? It's a musical, <laughs> Into the Woods. I think it'll be fun. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what kind of show are you going to I'm like a 1960s radio host. Tell me more about it, David. <laughs> I love it. But I like to binge watch stuff. You told me about the one show that I was watching, The Morning Show. Oh, yeah, yeah. The Morning Show. Love yeah. that. Yeah. What about you? I mean, you do, but you're going away. We're, yeah, that won't be relaxing. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't Well, in really... about five years, you'll be able to relax I again. I will. I cannot. <laughs> you know, actually, I have a friend who I, I had lunch with yesterday who is in self-care mode. All of her kids are in school now. Her youngest is in kindergarten all day. And so she says that she, she's just all about the self-care. She's going to lunch. She's getting her nails done. She's doing whatever she can for her now. I love that. Yeah. I think, you know, take care of yourself. That's important. So as much as I love my babies young, I'm excited for that day where I could be like, it's time for me now. That's true, too. Yeah. All right, Bob is asking, does anyone give up anything for Lent with all the food and drinks on PTL? It would be quite a challenge. That's kind of true. And you have made a proclamation. I'm giving up sugar. So it's, and, and not sugar in all forms. Okay, I'm, I guess I'm picking and choosing. I'm not giving up carbs. But like sweet, sweet. Sweet, like yeah. donuts and cake and cupcakes and brownies and all the stuff that I love so much. I'm not adding sugar to my coffee in the morning. Mm -hmm. um, so it, it gets a little difficult. Breakfast is difficult because I usually like something sweet for breakfast. Okay. Like this a granola next, bar even. This next question is not going to work well. Oh no, I'm skipping a question. This next question is fine. I was. <laughs> Coming up, you'll see what I'm talking about. There's, there's a question about cookies yeah. coming up later. But the next question is Becky's writing in saying, Heather, why did you name your dogs Kevin and Lucy? Lucy, Frankie came up with. Kevin, it was because we were at the Birmingham Bridge Tavern years ago, and this guy had a dog in the bar, and his name was Kevin, and we thought it was the funniest thing we'd ever heard. <laughs> Fast forward a couple years later, we move up to Mount, this was in the south side, mm -hmm. we move up to Mount Washington, and this guy who owns Kevin lives on our street. And he has since moved away. He was renting. Oh, I was so he's moved ask. away. So they're not two Kevins I on our street wondered. now. Like if there's two dogs named Kevin, people just yelling out their front doors, Kevin. So Frankie comes home the one day. He goes, you're never going to believe who I, I just saw. And he said, Kevin. And I said, who's Kevin? And he said, the dog. And then not long after, we wound up getting another dog and named him Kevin. Named him Kevin. Why not? Why not? All right, now the cookie question. Jeff is asking, what's everyone's favorite Girl Scout cookie? 
So I took a poll yesterday afternoon just to find out yeah. what is everyone's favorite Girl Scout cookie. So look, we have a oh, graphic representation. Cute. So for you. Thin mints for you. Thin, thin mints, mints as well. Now Mikey said she likes the new ones, the Lemon Ops. They are good. And then Ron said Thin Mints and Selena said without a doubt Samoas. Wow. You know the, um, oh, what were they called? The new ones that they came out with. What? Were they like the hot fudge sundae? Uh, oh, s'mores, oh, no. s'mores, the oh, s'more yeah, cookie. Yeah, yeah. That one was really good. The, do they still sell those? I think so. Do they? Okay. I'm looking at Patty. Looking Patty, come on. <laughs> Patty's on. Marie always gives us answers. So we're looking at you. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. All right, we have uh, we have one more. Oh, another food question. I told you there were a lot of food related ones. Mm -hmm. Brenda's asking, hard ice cream or soft serve? I like both. I like both too. Rick, uh, not Rick. Ron shaking Ron. his head. No. Ron. One is clearly better. Is it the one that's on the screen right now? Because no. this is my choice. No. My favorite thing in the you summertime like hard is a soft serve vanilla chocolate twist. This is from Speedy's outside Ford City. I love it. You love a twist. Oh, wow. it's just so, oh. I like the summertime. cherry dip. You know the cherry, the dip yeah, oh in? Yeah. yeah, we like those a lot. But we, I like hard ice cream too. There's I so many so. different flavors. I mean, I like get. all ice cream. I do not discriminate in my ice cream. No way. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. What? Oh, it's I'm all sorry. This, these were bad topics. I'm sorry. Heather. That's okay. Talking too much about, yeah. Well, then all let's right. change subjects. Then. Yeah. We're out of time with the questions, but we'll do it again next week. In fact, we have a, a special surprise with our questions. Because next, next Friday will be the Home and Garden Show. Yes. So we're doing something special. Yes. Watch for it. Okay. So we want to tell you about a heartwarming story about a little dog named Nika. Yeah. And this is really, I mean, it's, it starts off sad, but there's a heartwarming end to it. A it, nine month old shepherd mix. Yes, yeah, so this is in Armenia, yeah. and she cannot use her back legs because she was born with a birth defect, and so she was just dumped on the side of the road so in Armenia. Sad. Someone had left her for dead, a good Samaritan found her, nursed her back to health, but then the good Samaritan fell on hard times. So there's this group in Armenia that paid to have her brought here, flew to I think Washington DC and now Pittsburgh. And so Paws Across Pittsburgh is helping out here. They posted this on Facebook. It's amazing, uh, they do such yeah. incredible work. They were working with Dolly's dogs as well. So we're happy to have Nika here in our area and we hope that she finds her forever home and is happy yeah. and healthy. They're gonna take her to see a specialist. She's probably gonna get some kind of wheelchair device nice. uh, and who knows what else. But anyway, we're happy she's in Pittsburgh. So welcome Nika, cute so, little dog. This morning we are also talking about the miniature railroad over at the Carnegie Science Center because they are now launching a fundraising effort trying to raise $30,000. They wanna get a lot to keep this display up to date, fresh. They wanna get LED lighting, a new entrance sign, updated signage, uh, new carpeting, fresh paint. This is all the stuff that they've listed. This actually started in 1919. I didn't realize it went back that far, but I mean, it is a Pittsburgh tradition. There you see the new Kaufman's that they added there. Mm -hmm. The old Kaufman's is what they added, but it's new. It's a new addition. Uh, and it really is fascinating. I mean, adults and kids alike can stare at this for hours. Well, and here's what I love about it is that there's always something you didn't know. And in fact, I learned something new this morning. I, I knew that I had a family tie, a family connection. Mm -hmm. My Aunt Dorinda married my Uncle Jim, and my Uncle Jim's family was very connected to the miniature railroad. Um, my Uncle Jim's father, Roy, worked at the Buell when it was a seasonal exhibit. So this is my Uncle Jim and his father, Roy, working at the Carnegie, or I'm sorry, at the Buell, when it was, putting, Buell, yeah. when it was a seasonal exhibit, and they were working on the railroad. Now my Uncle oh, Jim awesome. went on to work at the Science Center, and so they were very close with him. Um, and when he passed away, they decided, I have to go back to my text messages now, they, they decided to create one of the little people. Um, this is so cool, Heather. After my uncle. So your uncle is one of the little people there. And my, this is, I'm assuming my aunt's finger. Um, so this is the building. <laughs> and they named one of the buildings, it says Hughes Goods, I think she said. So they named it after Hughes. him. Mm -hmm. And there's a little, like him, if you go to the, your Uncle Jim is there. Yeah, and so I didn't even know that this had happened after he passed. So there's this little building there, and I'm gonna have to look for it now, but it's really cool to see. So again, if you ever go to the, see the Miniature Railroad, look for those little intricacies. They're all spread yeah, out all, all over. over. It's yeah. what makes it so special, really. It really so does. They are launching their fundraising, their crowdfunding campaign on Sunday, mm -hmm. and we have a link to that at pittsburghtodaylive.com. Yeah, we'll send some more information your way. Um, so we are talking fish fries today.
We have to. It's Which, the first Friday in Lent. Yes, and it, there's no sugar here. Well, maybe a little bit. I don't know. Maybe a little bit, but yeah, you're you're allowed to eat this. But yeah, this <laughs> is happening. Churches, fire halls all over Western Pennsylvania, uh, and it's not just fish. For people like Heather Abraham, who maybe <laughs> yeah, you know, they're not so sure about the seafood. We this morning, Nicole Ford was on a mission, and she went all over to different places where they're getting ready for fish fries, and they have pierogies at St. John's the Baptist in Baden. They or pizza at St. Gabriel's in Whitehall. Uh, there's so mac and cheese and coleslaw and halushki. Right. They were making halushki this morning. They were making halushki. Yeah. So look at all that. You're making pizza right there. So, and we, we did a poll this year too. We want to share with you. First off, the you top can go 10 to list. The top 10 list. So we asked all of you, and they came up with the top five that we have in the graphic here Holy Angels and Hayes, Swiss Vale Fire Department, St. Maximilian Colby uh, in Homestead, North Braddock Volunteer Fire Department, and Saxonburg Volunteer Fire Company as well. So very congratulations great. to them. And you can check out our entire fish fry guide, very comprehensive, at kdka.com everything you need to know to take advantage of what's happening. We'll be out at one of them this evening. We're looking forward to that. Okay, well, it is a cold start. I feel like this morning was even colder than it was yesterday. It's, yeah. It's brutal. My dad upped the, the heat at his house. Did he? It was that yeah, cold. He turned it up one. Yeah, we were the he same way. He reported it this morning. So uh, <laughs> you wouldn't necessarily <laughs> consider today a perfect day for a dip in the pool, but that's exactly no. what's happening. Yeah, and it's for a very good reason. It is. And in fact, tomorrow's an even bigger day. They call it the Polar Plunge. Today, however, is what's it called? Uh, schools, cool schools. It's a it's a group of young people who are jumping into pools outside Heinz Field. Now, this is actually something different, but this is something Pittsburghers have come to know as well. Yes, so they set up um, pools over uh, by Heinz Field and they jump into the pools, the schools will. And again, this is going back to Special Olympics. They make sure, Special Olympics Pennsylvania, and I think all of the organizations make sure that the, uh, the athletes do not have to pay anything to participate. Right. So this is a really great way to give back. And I know that uh, police, chief, Pittsburgh Police Chief Scott Schubert is so heavily involved, raising so much money every right. year. It's really, it's heartwarming to see, and you can participate in the plunge tomorrow. Right. Today is for schools. Tomorrow you can participate. Yeah, you can go and register on site tomorrow yes. morning uh, outside Heinz Field there. You'll see the big pool set up, and it's a great thing that they do. Yes, so it really we're, is. We're very pleased that it happens. All right, well, the Polar Plunge is all about being outside in the cold, but we are beating the Winter Blues this week here on PTL, and our guests today are here to help. <laughs> Up next, Doug Oster of Everybody Garden. What's he doing? I don't know. We'll show, oh, well, this is what. He will show us how to force our spring plants to blossom while they're still inside. That's interesting. Mm. And a lot of kids are looking forward to this one. Disney on Ice <laughs> is back. Wait, is she Moana? Moana? I, I, I don't know. Moana. Does she answer to Moana? Make waves, <laughs> make waves. I don't know if that's right or not, but I love my Disney princesses. Selena Pompiani is showing us an up close look at the Disney magic. And the fun doesn't end there. We are also heading into the kitchen to see what Chef Dennis is fixing up for Lent. And we'll chat about some fun events coming up at his restaurant. He looks very hard at work. And then join us for that, plus a visit from Miss Universe and our puppy pal Penguin. You're watching Pittsburgh Today Live.